Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we are going to check out the Motherload Fuzz from Crazy Tube Circuits. When we're talking about fuzz around these parts, we're primarily talking about just a couple of core different fuzzes, at least in my opinion, on which all other fuzzes are based. Now two of those is the Proco Rat, legend and the other is the electro harmonics big muff well the mother load seeks to put both of those circuits in a single housing and then expand upon them in its own unique way it's pretty nuts and before we go any further you can consider this a sponsored video as crazy tube circuits has asked me to show you guys this pedal however all thoughts and opinions are still mine so we have seen fuzz pedals on here before and we've seen muffs and we've seen rats however those pedals have widely different topology and voicings, and the mother load lets you combine both of those, not specifically the fuzzes, but the EQ and the voicings of each of those circuits into one, one pot of stew, sonic stew, as it were, and that's what you have with the mother load, and it's, it's pretty over the top. Now that we got the full tune out of the way, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a playthrough. I'm going to twist some knobs. We're going to hang out a little bit and we're just going to kind of talk through what's happening on the mother load. And I will continue to be plugged into my Marshall 1987X Plexi. And uh, yeah, let's hang out and twist some knobs. All right. So I have my 1960s standard Gibson Les Paul. It's completely stock. I have the crazy tube circuits uh, motherboard. <laughs> All right, so I have my 60s standard Gibson Les Paul. It is completely stock. I am plugged straight into the Crazy Tube Circuits mother load, and I'm going straight into my Marshall 1987X Plexi, and this is my bass tone. Again, with the Marshall, there's, there's no gain controls at all. The sound is the sound, and it sounds like this. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the rat position, the R position. Now, the dials are set accordingly. I'm gonna dial back the gain closer to about noon, and this is what it sounds like. Now, since we're dealing with the rat topology, only the filter is active in the rat mode, okay? So like a rat, the it's an inverse filter. So turning it all the way up takes away trouble. Conversely, if I go to the M mode, the muff mode, get a big muff topology. very scooped, it's not as mid forward as the rat, 
right? As you would expect on a muff. Now, a cool thing happens when you dial in the link EQ. When you push the link EQ button, it's gonna combine both of those topologies and you get both of them at the same time, which allows for pretty crazy tonal options. Let's play with it. Switching the mother load off. <laughs> it's a very nuts pedal. If you go into the extreme settings, you're gonna get nice sputtery buzz, I, on, especially on the neck pickup. I love the tone. Let's dial it back just a little bit. Let's go back with the controls closer to noon, including the gain, still on the rat voicing with the, uh, the link EQ engaged. So because I am in the muff setting, introducing the the rat voicing is gonna give give me some mid range that I wouldn't otherwise have in a muff setting, right? Because it's so scooped. So the linky Q in this case is pretty nice in my opinion. It will literally sustain forever. I mean, not literally ever, but it feels like it'll just go on and on and on. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. It's a pretty fun pedal, I will say. So you can go from, you know, going back to the rat, unlinking the, the EQ. I can go from just a light overdrive. to the sputtered out broken circuit sound of the muff when it's cranked. So really, there's something in this for literally anybody. All right, so what do I think? This is a cool new take on the classic fuzz pedal as we know it, as I know it really. I like a rat, 
and I love a muff. And to be able to combine those top algies is pretty cool because I always thought the muff could have a little bit more mid range, which is why it's so good with a single coil guitarist. But you know, if you're using a humbucker or equipped guitar, you know, you're in some murky water potentially with a muff circuit. So, you know, being able to link the EQs on both of these is pretty wild and pretty nuts and pretty cool. It's very, very musical, but also if you don't want to be musical and kind of go into weird territory, it lets you do that as well. Like I love the sputtery broken circuit sound on the neck pickup, but I also love just a nice gentle tickling of an overdrive with the rat circuit. So really there is something for everyone here in the mother load if you're into fuzzes at all, whether this is used for a main tone or a solo boost, pretty cool. And it retails for about 250 euro, I believe at the time of this shooting. So uh, yeah, I will link down below in the description if you'd like to know more about the mother load. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.